So in this last section, we're going to pivot a little bit. We are going to do traffic engineering so that the traffic is always going to be forwarded out towards firewall one. AS path is relevant in this deployment because it is mandatory, which means all the route updates, all the prefixes that are being exchanged between routers, the AS path information must be transmitted along with them. Meaning not only is it mandatory, but it's also transitive. And if it's transitive, then it gives you a lot more flexibility to influence everybody else downstream. And in this topology, this is exactly what we're going to use. We're going to use AS path to steer traffic towards the primary data center, and we'll use AS path to steer traffic away from the primary data center towards the secondary data center. And to do that, we first need to create our prefix list to match 100 network. I'm back on firewall one. Let's create our prefix list. I believe this gets clearer when we do it in practice. Config router prefix list. Let's give it a name. Let's say network 100. Let's configure some rule. Edit the first one. Let's say set prefix to 100.100.100.100 slash 32. I'm just going to leave it at that show router prefix list our prefix list only has one rule i'm happy with that it serves the purpose right now and the next thing that we need to do is define our route map i'm just gonna call it set secondary config router route map set secondary config rule edit one so before we write the rule here in the route map we need to remember that if the as path is longer it's not going to be preferred bgp is always going to prefer the as path that is as short as possible meaning if you want to influence bgp not to prefer a specific path you need to poison that path you need to make that path appear as if it has a longer as path to get to the de to the destination so right now we are in our route map. Let's let's match our prefix list first. Set match IP address. And because we already have our prefix list, it's there as an option to choose. So we match with IP address net 100. Now the action that we want to do is we want to prepend 100, 200, 300. AS path action would be to prepend verse. Our route map has a name. We call it set secondary and it's going to match an IP address defined in the prefix list called net 100. So we're saying in relation to this network, wherever we're going to advertise this network, net 100, add three autonomous systems in addition to the real autonomous system. So now we have this route map it's matching this network and it's going to take these actions. So we're on firewall one. We need to apply this to our BGP pairing with R1 and R2. Now we have this, let's apply it to our BGP config and just take it one step at a time. Config router, BGP. Config neighbor. Edit the first neighbor is 10.160.10, which is R1. Set route map out because we want to advertise it out. We have the 100 network. We're advertising out that network to R1 and R2. So the command is set route map out. And we specify our route map, which is set secondary. We do the same for R2. set route map out, set secondary. Show router BGP. When we look at our BGP pairing with 10.160.10.2 and 10.160.10.20, we can see that we've applied the route map in the outbound direction, meaning R1 and R2 should be receiving that information from us now. But yes, of course, we don't have access to R1 and R2 Let's have a look at Firewall 3 and see if Firewall 3 has learned anything about this network. I'm on Firewall 3 now. 
get router info pgp network 100.100.100.100 we still haven't got an update regarding the 100 network because we're still seeing this uh, being advertised from 65510 um, so let's try and do our router refresh exec router clear pgp or soft in and then let's run our bgp okay and this time you can see the final destination is as 65520 65520 so firewall 3 is now following a path via 65501 which is r1 and 65502 which is r2 but in the end it's going towards 65520 which is the secondary data center and if we look at firewall 4 and firewall 5 we're going to see exactly the same get router bgp network 100.100.100.100 yes as we expected we are seeing this network being um, advertised through 65520 meaning behind firewall 2 in the secondary data center i'm going to ssh into 100.100 .100 just to be 100 percent sure that this is firewall 2 that we're talking about execute ssh 100.100.100.100 and indeed it is firewall 2. I've logged out of firewall 2 just to be 100% certain that our concepts actually work the way we intend for them to work. I'm going to offload route map from the BGP peering with R1 and R2 on firewall 1 to make sure that that route map is not applied anymore. And then I'm going to create the same route map on firewall 2 because right now all the traffic is got all the traffic to the 100 network is going to firewall 2. If I create this route map with a long AS path, the traffic should be redirected back to firewall 1. Now, what I'm going to do is create the same route map on firewall 2, and I'm going to prepend four autonomous systems. On firewall 1, I appended three. On firewall 2, I'm going to append four. So that that's gonna mean that firewall 2 now has a long AS path for the destination 100 network making firewall one more preferred again and so we should see in a couple of seconds we should see the traffic be redirected to firewall one and for us to do this i need to connect to firewall two and do my configs there okay the first thing is the prefix list to define our 100 network config router prefix list and i'm going to call it network 100 Config rule, edit one, set prefix 100, 100, 100, 100, slash 32. And that's it for our prefix. Let's have a look at it. Show router prefix list. It looks good to me. And now we, we create our route map. Config router route map our route map i'm going to give it the same name set secondary I'm going to configure the rules and the first one set match ip address net 100 set AS path action prepend set AS path to I'll just say 1000 2000 3000 and 4000 show router route map 
our route map prepends four autonomous systems and now i'm going to apply this in the outbound direction from firewall 2 to r1 and r2 config router bgp config neighbor edit the first neighbor set route map out and the route map name is set secondary the second neighbor tends 10.160.40.2 set route map out and the name set secondary and I believe this is all we needed okay we're back on firewall 4 let's check where the 100 network is being advertised from get router get router info BGP network 100 100 100 100 you need to type this in full so according to this prefix we can see that the traffic will go um, 65501 which is r1 path and 65502 via r the r2 path but in both instances they'll end up in 65510 65510 and the networks the as paths that we prepended are still in place uh, 100.200.100, uh, 200 and 300. We know that from firewall 2, we prepended 1000, 2000, 3000, and 4000. So this part is a little bit shorter than the part that we prepended on firewall 2. And just also for the sake of completeness, let's SSH into the 100 network to make sure that we're going to be seeing firewall 1 when we do. exact ssh 100.100.100 and yes we are on firewall one i believe we are now at the end of our section three which concludes this video i want to thank you so very much for supporting the channel and sticking with me through this video i hope you can join me in my next video um, this video was for bgp in the next video i'm going to be doing ospf and it's going it's also going to be a comprehensive deep dive video like this aimed for absolute beginners but doing some really advanced things in the end with that thank you see you in the next one